welcome back to my channel, Sophie Says. This week I'm doing something very different. I'm in my kitchen, first of all, which is a worry because I can't cook very well. I thought I'd do something really exciting and make my own birthday cake. I know. I'm going to make a unicorn birthday cake because I love unicorns and, you know, it goes about saying. It's going to be very interesting because, like I said, I'm not the best cook in the world. I am cheating a little bit because most things are kind of in packages, but We'll see how I get on. Let's crack on at making my very own unicorn birthday cake. So first things first, we're going to put 300 grams of caster sugar into the bowl. And then I've got 450 grams of butter. Um, so I've already put them into kind of how much I should have. So I'm not actually, because I thought that would take ages off. I put a whisk, so you have to do it by hand, which is good. So we're just going to, oh god, I'm really scared. Liam's behind the camera and he's shaking his head in fear. Um, so we're gonna like just go back into the bowl with it. I'm just gonna show you what it currently looks like. By the way, for those of you joining my channel for the first time today, this is not a cooking channel. So please don't judge me and start being like, what are we watching? Like we're following this girl having a breakdown while she makes a cake. Like I don't normally do this kind of thing. This is what's happening so far. I'm gonna keep going, okay? Liam, is this okay? How pasty. Oh, do you know what? We're gonna move on. I, let's just see what happens. I've done my best at putting the sugar and the butter together. So I've already beaten eight eggs into this because it's gonna be a three-tier cake, so it's quite a lot of ingredients needed. It sounds so professional. I don't know if anyone else has made their own birthday cake before, but if you have, leave a comment, let me know what you made, because it's the worst idea I've ever had. Liam, confirmation of whether I can move on or not? Confirmation's good, we can move on to the next safety you put. So the next bit that we're gonna add in is self-raising flour. I'm gonna shake some of this. No, no, you need a sieve. Oh, you need a sieve? <laughs> I'm gonna find a sieve, be right back. Um, I don't know if this is a sieve or not, but something similar. So I'm going to be at 24 on Friday the 13th. So two things to be worried about. First of all, that my birthday is on Friday the 13th. And second of all, that I'm turning 24. <laughs> so we're going to put half of the flour in and just fold it all into the mixture. And then I'm just going to add the rest in. All the ingredients are blended together finally and I've got it right, Liam came and checked so we're good to go. I've got these really cool unicorn sprinkles which I'm going to add into it to make it a really colourful sponge cake. Yay! Oh, I'm actually flipping it everywhere. Okay, what I'm going to do now is put three tins with greaseproof paper in and I'm just going to pour in, I'm not quite sure how to do this but Oh my god, this goes a ton! Oh my goodness, it's all over the table. God, chefs must have like massive arms because these way is fun. So the next thing to do is whack them in the oven for like 20 minutes, I think. We'll check online. I've just taken my cake out of the oven and let it cool down, so we're ready to start icing it and getting unicorn if that's a word, which is going to be my bottom layer. <laughs> I can't wait to see how this turns out, it's so exciting. Um, so I've already prepared, whilst they were cooking in the oven, um, an icing to go on, so, or buttercream I think it is actually. I've been like tasting it whilst cooking and it just tastes so good. It's going to be so good. So we're going to put our next layer on. I'm so happy. I hope this inspires others to make unicorn cakes because it's really brought out the best in me, I think, making this cake. It's inspired me to cook more, which is good. So, stay tuned, you may. <gasps> mm -hmm. It's getting too cocky, that's why it started to slide. It's 
again like an avalanche, it's sliding everywhere. Do 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 Send in the pro because I can't do this and I'm not trusted with a knife. What? <gasps> Leanne, you're ruining it. Okay, confession. Sophia's leaves are too warm still and she's so impatient. <laughs>